Ray Harmony here, and today on Three Minute Theory, how to write an epic bass drop. Because if you're an EDM producer, there's nothing worse than giving your audience this epic build on the snare drum, and then following it with a bass drop that consists of one note. No, your audience deserves better. Let's do it. All right, so we're at 90 BPM, which is a mega groovy tempo and one of my favorites. Bass drops are all about bass and drums, so we got those set up and ready to go. We're gonna do a two bar bass drop so it doesn't get boring. And we're gonna start with the drums. So let's get the snare drum in on the back beat, which is the two and the four of each bar. And then we're gonna get the kicks in on the one of each bar, right? James Brown, the one, you wanna lock it in, keep that groove going. Uh, we're gonna put in hats, on every quarter note except there we're just gonna spice it up to give a little bit of movement to the second bar um, and now really important we're gonna do syncopation on the kick um, we're gonna add in a little note there so nice space here um, give it some room for the bass and then in the second bar we'll do the same thing with a little extra syncopation for momentum and we're done with the drums here we go Oh yeah, you know what time it is now. It's bass o'clock, so let's get to it. Okay, we are going to use the blue scale, but you can use any scale for um, for drops. I like the blue scale because it's super funky. Um, so start on any note, go three semitones up, go two semitones up, go one semitone up, go another one semitone, and go three semitones. That's your blue scale. If you want to learn more about writing bass lines using the blue scale, please download my Hack Music Theory for Songwriting and Producing PDF. The link is below. Talking about low, we are using F sharp as our root note because it's nice and low, good for EDM. So let's get rid of the rest of them. Now we just want to map out those kick drums in the bass track because that's going to be our starting point for the bass line. And then we just move into the notes we want. I'm hearing that as a flat seven, that as a one, and that as a flat three. So that's that funky trio of notes I'm always talking about. Flat seven, one, flat three. And now we literally just fill in the gap. So let's start from the beginning. We've got the one, let's go up to the flat five, up to the five, down to the four, up to the flat five, down to the flat three. Nice little motif there, making the most of the blue scale. Let's do it again. Up to the flat five, up to the five, down to the four, up to the flat five, and then down to the flat three again. Okay, except this one here on the fourth beat. Let's do some magic here. Let's change the grid to eighth triplets because every good bass drop must have the wob 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 triplets. So um, we're going to just space them out into triplet timing. Um, and now what we have is that same melody here is repeated here, but in triplets, really cool. Okay, let's move on. Put the grid back to 16th straight. All right, we're into the second half. Almost there. So from the one, let's go to the flat five like we did in the beginning, except it's a little bit later this time. And then we've got this really cool descending line. We're going flat five, flat three, one. Let's do a little sequence of that flat three, one, flat seven. So this is now the lowest part of the melody. Let's climb out again with the opposite. We're going one, flat three, and then let's finish on the flat five. And then last thing, I'm going to add a flat three in here just to join these two really cool motifs and we're done. Now have some fun spreading this bass line out over a bunch of different tracks with a bunch of different synth sounds and you get this. P.S. If you need more help writing bass lines, read the melody checklist in my songwriting and producing PDF. It's the ultimate hack for making great melodies.